Hello everyone, today's demonstration is about how to reinforce user access security with TOTP. Single factor authentication are vulnerable to phishing attacks and data leaks, so there is a strong need for a second factor of authentication. In previous version of SNS, to add a second factor of authentication, it required to integrate with an external solution. With this version, SNS directly integrates the TOTP standard, which relies on an application installed on the smartphone that the user already owns. So this is a cheap way to increase the user access security level. Let's see how we can do that with SNS. Let's go in the authentication, authentication configuration panel, and we have a new method. A TOTP method that can be configured on the different services of the SNS. You have then the TOTP settings related to the TOTP standard, and then you can customize the user enrollment message so that users are properly guided through the enrollment process. So let's see how we can enroll Bob who is an administrator and doesn't have its TOTP code yet. Bob will connect as usual on the administration console. And as he has not his TOTP code, he will be prompted to go to the enrollment page to, uh, subs to, to fulfill the process. He will enter its login and password again, and he will be able to get its TOTP QR code so that he can scan it in his smartphone. So for the demonstration purpose, let's pretend that this is a smartphone of Bob, and he will scan the QR code. Bob as now is QR code. And to finish the process, it just has to enter the TOTP code in the portal so that the process is fulfilled. In order to enter the administration console, it just has now to enter its TOTP code And now he's logged into the administration console as he can do as usual. If we cons consider another user, so Mike, who is already in enrolled into the process and want to connect to internet, but has to first connect to the captive portal. So let's authenticate Mike into the captive portal. So basically, he enter its login password and by the same way just add the TOTP code and now he's su successfully login he will be able to navigate as usual okay so we have seen how to configure the TOTP um, on SNS how to enroll the user and how to connect the user uh, to finish the demonstration, I will show you that uh, now you can validate that the users are properly logged with the uh, uh, logs and that you can see that uh, the users that are in error basically have either an invalid authentication code or an invalid uh, password. So with the user logs, basically you can see the successful login, the login in error due to the wrong authentication or wrong TOTP code, or the users that are su successfully on hold, as we can see here.